Yo, what's going on, guys? And it's been announced that, yes, Shaquille O'Neal is the president of Reebok Basketball. And Allen Iverson has been named the vice president of basketball for Reebok. So what does this mean? Shaq and Reebok. First, before we get into this, what do I think it means? Reebok is coming back with vengeance and they're trying to kickstart their basketball apparel, shoes, lineup, whatever. And if you've seen with prior brands, I mean, Kevin Garnett did it with and one. If you get a big enough name who has the creative draw, you can have a hit. So Allen Iverson and Shaq are coming back to Reebok. This is the company that everybody remembers these two guys being with during their Hall of Fame playing careers. And now they're going to be working as president and vice president. And what the, the belief is, is that they're going to be able to build the brand as Allen Iverson is going to be spearheading player recruitment while placing a focus on the brand's presence in grassroots and community initiatives, as well as his annual Iverson Classic High School Showcase game will be now the Reebok Allen Iverson High School Showcase game. So for Shaquille, he'll be leveraging his network of being, you know, like a billionaire and being like a super successful business guy to help connect the brand with players and develop you know, partnerships with players and and Reebok. So I, I think it's a really, really cool role. And I expect them to start dropping shoes and to basically have a whole lineup of clothing that they, I assume that they're expecting that people are going to be quite fans of. As O'Neal, you know, O'Neal joined Reebok and then left them in 98. And it seems like the Authentic Brands Group subsidiary as Reeboks creates that part of their elite basketball segment. And what the plan is, is that Reebok acquired back in 2021 ABG Authentic Brands Groups and Adidas purchased Reebok for four billion back in 06. So technically, you know, Reebok is owned by Adidas and Reebok is trying to compete with Nike, Adidas and Under Armour in basketball. So I personally think this moves will lead, you know, will allow Reebok to have a signature shoe that even if they don't have the athletes, people are going to be hyped. So it'll definitely be interesting to see how this all plays out. Let me hear your thoughts.